Hi there, good morning. It's Lori from Lollipop Paper and Ink. Thanks so much for joining us today for our Wednesday Live. Um, I am just a few minutes early. I am again trying to beat the construction workers that are working on the new house next to me. And uh, you just never know. It seemed to be a little lull in the noise. And uh, so I just took a chance that we can uh, get this done. So let's give everybody um, a chance to get on and let me see if I can um, share this over to our to our VIC group. If you're here, say hi. Good morning. I'm so glad you're here. Uh, let's see. Let me share it. I think they pretty much can find us, but just in case. Okay, our VRC group is just um, a separate group of customers and friends and um, people outside of the uh, of the my page, which is where this where this happens um, every Wednesday. But uh, it's just a way. It's just more of a little uh, little group, and we can do some different challenges and. Um, games and things like that in there. So if you're not over there, I'll have the link uh, below for um, so you can just pop right over it and I will approve you right away. It's called the VIC group. All right, so let's get started. First, let me show you, um, last week we had for our prize patrol, we had the Darling Donkeys and Kathy Schmidt. And Kathy, I do have your address. You were the one, the name that I pulled from for from everyone who had done some sharing, which I really appreciate. Um, it just makes my heart happy to see um, that you're sharing this and that so it can, you can maybe introduce it to other people. Um, so today, so Kathy, I'll get that out to you um, today. I, I do have to go to later today, so um, I'll get it out this afternoon. And um, thank you again for sharing. Next week, well, for this week's prize patrol is the uh, Heal Your Heart, which is the celebration set and um, beautiful, beautiful fonts. Like, it, it just looks like it was professionally printed um, every time I've used it. And very um, thoughtful and supportive uh, sentiments that we have here. So that's for next week. So whoever shares it, I'll pull a name for next week and I'll get that off to you right away also. So today I wanted to share um, some of my, well, three of my uh, Paper Pumpkin alternate projects. So the box, the January kit was called um, Sending Hearts. Yes, Sending Hearts. And um, this is, I believe it, these were the two cards that came with the kit. So you, uh, I think there were four of each, of each um, enough ingredients to make these two, these four cards, two, de uh, two designs of each. Let me say that again. It was uh, two designs, but four of each. I kind of got that backwards. Okay, so, um, so that's how you started with. I mean, it's, it's a little simple, but that's a good thing. That's what these paper pumpkin kits are all about, is to start out simple and you can just let your creativity uh, grow from there on in. And all your supplies are there. Everything that you need that comes with a little, um, this month came with a little uh, poppy parade uh, stamp spot. And um, it comes with the, it came with these cute little um, heart, and, enamel dot embellishments it came with black ribbon it comes with the glue the glue dots it comes with dimensionals everything you need to make these eight cards is in that box and every every month is different it's a surprise every month so that's a, that's a good thing um and hi guys hi linda hi vicky um so that's that's how that's how paper pumpkin works. It's a little bit of a surprise, but it's um, it's something that you can if you don't have a lot of space and you don't want to build up store it like build up your supplies. Paper pumpkin is the best thing for that. It will keep you busy, and um, you'll be able to use the stamp sets for things all year long. Um, so this was the one that came with this stamp set, this kit, uh, sending hearts, and. Um, it's cute. It's it's all stuff for for Valentine's Day, or it could just be for an anniversary. You could use this heart for a birthday card, and this cute little snail guy, who um, coordinates with the snail in the um, 
we have a bundle that's that's I can't remember the name of it. It's snail something. <laughs> um, but anyway, so that's that's a cute little little cute little add-on. So I also I had extras after I made my three alternate projects. Then I just had an extra card, so I just put this this together really quick um, with the same ingredients that were in the box. And um, I like to do things with my alternate projects that will take you a little bit beyond this so that you can you get use out of this stamp set when all of your um, the ingredients that are in that box are gone I still want you to be able to use this so I offer a um, I have a paper pumpkin club and all that means is um, I offer these three alternate projects which I'm going to show you here today but for the people that are part of my paper pumpkin club which really just means that they um, subscribe through me to get their own paper pumpkin automatically you become part of my club and uh, that means I send you the PDF uh, tutorials for the cards that I the alternates that I um, that I created each month and this month uh, because it one of the projects is um, this adorable oh I you know I love this slider box I already have it filled for my grandbabies um, so I have used this in the sweet strawberry class I've used it in the lots, uh, no, yeah, lots of heart to go class, which will be going out in the mail this afternoon, and um, and then I used it again here for paper pumpkin. I just, I just, I just love this box. It's so easy to put together and decorate. But I'm going to show you how we're going to do that now today. So anyway, um, so every month, paper pumpkin club members get the PDF tutorial. I email it to them. And um, they get to see the down and dirty of exactly measurements and everything of, of how I did these things. Um, so if you want to get the measurements, um, you can subscribe to Paper Pumpkin. You have until the 10th of every month. And then also, um, you uh, then I will just email it to you. Like I said, this month, because I have, um, I have the 3D project, I will also include the video of today to show to show them how to put it together but so anyway if, if you just want to watch the video and you can just do it like that and and put it together so this is my first project and um, this was just an alternate I just used now so just I have to be say I have to tell you that um, normally I just use exactly what's in the kit and and uh, nothing more because I want you to use that stamps the stamps that are included here this month because obviously it's all about the hearts I did use the um, punch punch um, heart punch pack which is this double uh, double pack of punches which I get so much use out of um, so yeah I do a little light in there so I do I, I am adding that as a, um, a tool that I'm using for these cards okay so let's get started I'll show you how we did this one first and it's just layering oh and I'll show you how this was one of these um, this this is what, what came with the um, with the kit so this piece here was just stamped the heart stamp went right into the middle of it so I just took this out since I'm not going to be using it and I put it onto my envelope so I thought I would just put the kids names right in there their addresses and that would be a cute little um, extra surprise for them to open all right so let's just do some layering first and then I will show you how I put it all together Let's see. Um, Kathy, is Kathy here? Not yet. Okay. Hi, Marty. Hi, Janelle. All right. So let's just do some layering and then we'll do some stamping. We'll get this on first. Since I'm using a uh, colored card base, I always um, put the inside, put a, a little um, basic white now, not whisper white basic white piece right in the middle so that you can put your sentiment in there okay it's the same layer it's the five and a half excuse me five and a quarter by four all right so we can get this first layer on and then I'll show you how I got that cute little heart to pop up like that okay he's gonna go right on top here okay 
Now for this piece, and this was just, um, this was one of the card bases that came with one of the cards. So I always, always um, chop that up and make my own DSP layer with that, something um, that anybody can do. So before I do that though, what I wanted to do here was to make this little scalloped edge. I'll show you how I did that. I just took the card base, trimmed it, and then I put it right down to the bottom of the, um, of the base here and to the side here, lined it up, and I cropped that out. So now we have our heart, uh, the negative space that we're gonna use for that. So what I wanted to do was to make a little bit of a rim around that. So what I'm going to do first is to stamp this because the heart that comes with the, um, the kit is a little larger than what the punch crops out. And, but that's a good thing. All right, I'm using Petal Pink because Petal Pink goes very well with uh, the Poppy Parade, especially for these, um, these kits. Okay, that looks like it's pretty good. Um, let me, I really should have scrap behind it, but that's okay. All right, so I'm just gonna go straight on here. So we have the start, the white image is stamped now, okay? Now I'm going to, done with that, I'm going to take the smaller heart because the scalloped heart punch is just a tad bit uh, larger. So I'm gonna take that and I'm going to put it in here. Now I have a little piece, a, a post-it note because I can't get that to, um, can't get my fingers to manipulate that. And this post-it note is pretty dry. All right, so what I want to do here is just get this in so that I'm going to make a little bit of a ring. And there we go. And that's what I wanted to make sure. Okay, so now get rid of this post-it scrap. Okay, so now we can, um, we can adhere this to the base, and then we're going to put that other little, the... Uh, the outer rim around it. Okay. And this just gets layered right on there. Okay. Now I'll take my little rim and, whoops, I'm just going to put a little bit of adhesive on here. I could use the liquid glue. And one side is a little skinnier than I wanted it, but it's okay. We're going to just lay it right in here, inside. It should fit right into that little area of the loops. Okay, that is good enough. All right, now we're going to take this guy and we're just going to pop him up on top with dimensionals. Almost put them on the wrong side, that's not good. Oh, hi Peggy, good, I'm glad you got it. I hope that you, uh, you'll you get the, I'm gonna send out the uh, PDF for the um, for the club today. And, but I wanted to wait until after I uh, uploaded this video so that um, you can see how we did it. I really only do videos for um, like 3D projects. But look how cute that is. Okay, so I'm going, well, I can do that later. Let's get a little bit of uh, color to ground this. And this piece came with the kit. So I'm just going to add a little adhesive here, right to the bottom. And this doesn't go all the way across, but that's not a problem because my heart is, um, my heart is towards the right, so it all balances out. And then we can stamp a little bit, a little sentiment here. Let's see, which one am I going to use here? Um, we'll just do the High Valentine. But you could do this with a, um, 
a birthday card would be perfectly fine. Okay, let's get this back here. Dokey. And I like the um, the chunkiness of these um, of this sentiment. I have to be a little careful because I don't have very good luck with dark colors. They just get all over me. Um, all right. While I'm waiting for that to just do its thing, I'm going to take a little bit of these um, hearts, which are so cute, and I'm just going to just fill in a couple, just to give it a little bit of something something and let's see I'll put this one here and maybe this one down here okay all right this guy should be good to go now so let's give him a little bit of adhesive and I'm just going to drop it down a little bit and when I actually, when I did this first card, I messed up because I put the adhesive on my black, on the black side, which I did not want to do. So um, that's why I had to add a few little extra pieces there. But I think it's fine. I think I'll just add one more big heart right here. And that's what I wanted to do. I also put a little ribbon. Now it came with this full spool of um, this really cool ribbon. I like like the thin ribbon that I think they're so much easier to work with. Um, this was a little slippery though, so I, I didn't want to take time to have to do this on video and mess it up. So good morning, Jan. So I just made a few bows beforehand and we can put that right there. Ta-da! I love it. Okay, all right, so we have one down. And this is going to go right inside the, um, the envelope with a little address label right on there. Alrighty. So next card up is this one. Oh, and this, this is another, where did we see that? Um, with this card, they have just the uh, pop-up sticker. It's not a sticker, but just the cutout that says love. So I thought, well, that would look cute on the back of the envelope there. So I am going with that for the envelopes so all right so this one I used um, make sure I get my, my pieces here um, I used the petal pink striped base that um, that was part of the kit which was here and then I also took a um, that other the poppy parade base and like I said I had cropped that one up before so I took another piece um, inch and a half, two inches, and um, I'm going to put that right on the bottom just to give that a little bit of weight. I always like to put my darker colors on the bottom. And this will go right here. Okay. All right. Now I had another one of these uh, longer blue, uh, black scalloped edges. But it did not, um, it still didn't go all the way. So I have this one going up. I think I'm going to put this one going down. And also I had wrapped the uh, black ribbon around the black scalloped tag. But I don't think that's necessary. I think that uh, another one of my little black bows will do just fine. Okay. Oh, hi, Trudy. Thank you for sharing. Okay, so let's put this one down, and I'm going to put it right on top there. Okay, perfect. All right, let's do some stamping now. So we're going to do the Poppy Parade. This time we're going to do the same heart image. Let me just wipe that off a little with my chamois. And we're good to go. Okay, so actually I was I thought I had an extra heart here all right no problem let's do it in poppy parade and I have to say I think this is like my favorite red I'm not really a red girl like really bright colors are not my thing but um, poppy parade if I'm gonna do red it's gonna be poppy parade okay so we're just going to 
give that a nice good press. And get rid of that so it's not dangerous for me. And I'm going to crop this out again with the uh, smaller version of the um, heart. And then I have just some Poppy Parade cardstock. So we need a little backup for that. So that's going to go with the, um, the scalloped. That's why I love this punch pack because it, it's two and it, it just makes the perfect, um, it makes the perfect pop-up or um, just a little addition. Oh, I did have this. I just did it on both sides. All right. So, okay, let's put this on here and then we'll pop that up with dimensionals when we're ready. Okay, we're going to put that right there. Let's just do our, um, let's do our sentiment while we're here and let's do sending love your way. Alrighty, I need another block. Oopsie. And since I already have my tag um, out, uh, you know, cropped out, I have to be a little more careful with how I'm stamping. Otherwise, I'd be able to trim right around it. But I think this should be okay. And I'm going to go a little bit over to the left. Okay. See, it comes out nice and chunky, which I do like. And we're going to pop that on. Give it a little bit of time to dry. And like I said, the dimensionals uh, come with it. The glue dots come with it. With the kit every single month. The ink. The cardstock. Their cardstock. I'm adding, you know, this, this is um, the cardstock that I'm adding for my alternates so that you can use it long after your kit is done. Um, all right, so let's put this on. We're just going to put it right underneath it. Hi, Rosemary. Thanks for coming. And thanks for sharing. Okay, let's just put it right in. And, okay, let's get this guy little heart right here. And then I'll take two of these little ones. I mean, might as well use them. They're so adorable. And I love that tone on tone, so that will go right on top of the uh, petal pin. And one more thing, we have another bow that we can put right on here. And let's see. And another reason to subscribe to Paper Pumpkin now is because it's a celebration. So if you subscribe to a 3, 6, or 12 month period, subscription period, you'd be earning one or two or more um, free products with celebration because you do get to choose free products with that. So that's something to think about. Okay, there we go. There's our second adorable little card. Sending love your way. Yeah, it could be for Valentine's Day or it could be for anything. Anytime you want to send some love, right? Hi there, it's me again. I apologize. That audio was horrendous uh, towards the end there and I just didn't want you to um, miss out on the most important part of the video was putting this um, the a treat box together. So especially for my Paper Pumpkin Club members, um, I wanted you to be able to see uh, it in action. So I'm going to hopefully edit this into the original Facebook Live and we'll see what happens from there. So this is our third project. It was the um, Love You Always treat boxes from the new mini catalog. And I wanted to show you how we put that together. It's super simple. Um, this is the actual slider part that will be sliding, and this is this will be the only thing that we're decorating at this point. Um, 
before when I did this for my other classes, I did do, uh, I put little panels, the same uh, cardstock and DSP on both sides there, but I don't think it's necessary for today. So let me show you how we get this guy together. It's gonna come with a lot of score marks, so you just go ahead and fold and burnish them and try to get all of them down. Um, I'll show you a little trick that I learned put, putting these together. But um, the, the thing is with this, there's no adhesive. So it's all manipulated with your hands um, it, with, and it will come together. What I suggest is that you take the two top flaps and you fold them away from you. This will give you a chance to just see what's going on in, top, uh, in the center here. So you can see, I'm just putting it together with my hands. These two top flaps here, I'm going to fold out. That's gonna be an important part of it, kind of locking into place because there is no adhesive. Okay, so that's down. All right, so what I'm doing is I'm just tucking this in here. Now, it's not staying because there has to be, all four sides have to get locked in. And so I'll do this side here. It's still not gonna stay on its own. So let me show you, on this top piece, there's a little tab that comes out. And on this piece here, there's a little slit for the tab to go into. So what we'll want to do is put the slit part in first and just tuck it right in and then you can hear it click and it will kind it will pretty much click into place at that point for extra uh, support you're going to just tuck this one in and lay that down and that will automatically fit right into that little slit area so really really simple to put together and it's a nice um, a nice tight a nice tight fit uh, but not too tight. So, okay, now let's get on to decorating. It was, um, what I did was I had, I had put these layers together, so I just kind of pulled them off for this part of the video um, to show you just where and how I layered it. But I took, this piece was from one of the card bases that came with the paper pumpkin kit, and when I was um, cropping them all, trimming them all to a certain, um, uh, measurement um, I just did that and I layered it on top of the petal pink cardstock and you'll have all of the measurements the paper pumpkin club people will have all the measurements um, on in the on that page so let's just do this again and I'm just going to as you can see I pulled it up <laughs> so let's see if it will stay down this time oh it doesn't like that when it picks up the the other um, cardstock. Okay, so this is just going to go right on top like this. And then we're going to do the two sides while we have it here. Oh, this is. Okay, and this will go right on here. And this goes right on this side panel. And like I said, if you wanted to do extra um, cutting, you could always just put two on these little panels here. Okay, so before we put it um, onto the, we put our lid on, I want to, this is not sticking so great, but yeah, put it on there. Um, you have two ways of putting the ribbon on, which both ways are perfectly fine. In this case, I put it right around the cardstock layer before I adhered it to the to the lid, the slider. Um, but in this case, I think it I think it's easier, and I like it better um, to just do it right on here. And this way, you have a nice flat surface to deal with to make your bow. And this ribbon came with the paper pumpkin. Um, kit this month along with those adorable um, little enamel dots too. It's a little slippery this paper, this ribbon but that does the job fine. It's going to stay right in place. Okay so then I just took one of the little cutouts from the kit 
that I used on one of the other cards. And I'm going to put that right up here into the corner. And then I did stamp, I didn't redo this, but you get the idea. I stamped that little cute guy, the little snail image um, in memento black onto just regular basic white. I stamped the um, little floral and heart image in petal pink. And uh, then I cropped it out with the smaller of the two um, heart punches that we've been working with. And then I just took basic black and um, cardstock and cropped out the scalloped edge for that. Um, I stamped the U, this was another one that was right here in the, um, in the kit, the stamp set. And um, I just stamped that in memento onto one of those little tags that already came in, in the kit. There was a whole bunch of those. And I'm just gonna add that right on top here. And then we'll be done. Oh, it gets stuck in there. Okay, all right. So I'm just gonna put this on with some dimensionals, which I already have here actually. So I just wanna make sure that my ribbon is where I want it because once I put my dim my uh, dimensionals over it, it's going to, um, it's gonna keep that right in place. And then I just added one of these adorable enamel hearts to uh, the center of the snail there. So that's it. That was our third project, our third, uh, the 3D project. And I just felt it was important um, that you heard me and could see me at the same time of what I was doing to put this together. I apologize again for the bad audio. I don't know what happened halfway through the uh, Facebook Live. So I'll try to figure that out for next time because I thought that was pretty annoying. All right, well, thank you so much for joining me today. Um, if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to earn your business. And you can just email me or contact me anyway. I'll just make sure that you're um, on the list to receive just information about uh, things that are going on with my clubs or my classes and um, we'll just get you informed. So again, I appreciate everyone who shows up for my lives. I appreciate you sharing, and I look forward to next Wednesday when we're back with another Facebook Live. All right, have a great day. Thanks so much. Stay safe.